Liam Davis, congratulations. A good fight. You're the new English bantamweight champion. How does that sound? Uh, sounds good. Music to my ears. and I'm just happy. Like I said, I, I knew I could do it, but it was just getting in there and getting the job done and making sure everything went to plan. And I felt like it did tonight. You made a good start, put your punches together nicely. You were very accurate with your shots. To his credit, Cairns was very tough, but the right call you feel from his corner to put him out there. Yeah, I think, like I said, I still had a lot left in the tank and I want, I want slowing down for nothing. I was keep building up the pressure and keep putting my punches together. So, yeah, I feel like it's the right thing, but he'd have come all day. you've got to give it in, man. He's tough as anything. He kept coming, coming and coming. And like I said, that's why I didn't go mad with it because I thought I respected how tough he was and how game he was. So, got to say full respect to Sean and I wish him all the best in the future. In the build-up, you talked about how important it was to make the most of this opportunity to win and to look good doing it as well. How satisfied were you with your performance as a whole tonight? Yeah, I'd, I'd give myself an eight. Like I said, um, I still believe, I, well, I don't believe, I know there's still more to come from me and I just hope I get the chance to come again and show another level because, like I say, it's just a start for me and uh, I'm looking to build and build and get more of these bigger and better bit things. You stayed ready in the gym knowing that you were mandatory for the English title. Unfortunately, that first show in Telford, it would have been for 13 years, couldn't go ahead. But it's another message, another inspiration to fight is to stay ready for opportunities like this when the, when the call comes. Yeah, 100%. Um, like I said, the show didn't go ahead in Telford, but I landed on my feet on Sky Sports here, winning my first title. So it's a memory that I'll never forget and hopefully something we can build on. Sean has said heading in that all the pressure was on you, but you've proved not only you can handle the pressure on the big stage, but handle it well as well. So that must give you confidence moving forward. Yeah, I, I knew, like I say, I didn't fold under pressure. If anything, I'll rise to it, rise to the occasion. And next time I'll rise again on a bigger and better performance for another belt. Hopefully that's the plan. Keep building up the ladder to bigger and better things. And uh, we asked you during the week about how it was important to come on this show and impress Eddie. It opens up so many more opportunities. You're saying you want to add to the English title and the future's looking bright for you now. Yeah, 100%. I'm here to impress. That's that what I, And I felt like I did tonight. I'd done what I was meant to do. I won in style. And like I said, uh, most people would have gone over. I hit him hard. And you got to respect him for taking them shots because I don't believe most bantamweights would have been gone. And that's just the God's honest truth. So full respect to him and roll on whoever's next because I'm coming now. Brilliant, Liam. Congratulations. And you'll be pleased to know our partner's Wingstop. I've got a post-fight treat for you of some chicken wings over there once oh. you finish these, uh, these media duties. So double win for you. Congratulations, mate. Oh, made up. Thank you very much. Thanks for everything this week. And uh, I look forward to coming back and doing the same again to someone different. Well, we look forward to having you back. Well done, Liam. Thank you very Thanks much. Thanks very much. I appreciate Cheers. it.